Hi, my name is Ghazi. Today I will be speaking about my project. The title is an independent image, uh, an independent set of image quality tests for Colombian CT, investigation of CAT fan accuracy, evaluation of the accuracy of existing software and the uh, method. First, I would like to thank my supervisor, Benjamin and Zaid. The outline of my presentation, introduction, purpose, and plan, significant, the research of you, finally, the research map. Image guided radiation therapy is a radiation therapy technique that uses image procedure and various treatment session. It uses images method to, to make sure the patient is in the right position during the administration of radiotherapy. The main purpose of using IGRT is to to help to deliver high dose to the tumor, to destroy the tumor cell, and minimize the dose to the healthy tissue. IGRT has used uh, different uh, image technology. Among us, the most used is Combeam computed tomography. Having a KFE uh, source and flat panel detector uh, mounted to the gantry linear accelerator, the the flat panel detector size is 39 centimeter square and the pixel size is 0.4 millimeter. KV, KV CBC uh, is a valuable tool for patient setup and target uh, localization in the course of radiotherapy, which allows for immediate correction of the patient uh, setup and patient position error and uh, the motion, uh, the motion of the organ to reduce the uncertainty of radiotherapy. So in the IGRT, the requirement of the image quality is crucial. Imagine if we have a poor image that will lead us to error in the position of the patient and it may result in the failure of the treatment. The way I think of it is like this. Someone you cannot see and you try to hit your target. So in order to maintain the quality of image, quality assurance program should be implemented. So an appropriate tool to, uh, for the purpose of KV CBCT uh, is CAT fan. The phantom composed of, uh, composed of housing containing several models to examine the image, image quality parameters. So the purpose and the plan. So many, many vendors provide the quality assurance for the KV CBCT, but user independent tests uh, using software to analyze the quality of image give us more objective measurements of the stabi stability of the system. So the aim of the project is to develop an independent uh, set of image quality tests for Combeam CT. I'll be, I will be using five CBCT the CAT fine and MATLAB to develop algorithm. Okay, oh, I'm gonna test the CBCT image quality test. Uh, we should do first the uh, safety checks and the uh, geometric accuracy. We, shall, we should make sure the, the phantom isocenter align with the radiation isocenter. The image quality parameter I'll be testing, I will explain in detail in the next few slides. However, I'll be measuring each model separately to get better results. Uh, geometric precision. The value of the CBCT, it's, uh, it's relying on the capability to produce 3D description of the patient anatomy. There is a future, there are future to, to check to evaluate the geometric stability of the CBCT equipment. The geometric accuracy, uh, the movement component of the CBCT are spatially reproducible. The linearity, the relative uh, spatial uh, relationship are uh, really reflected in the CBCT image. And the image obtained with the CBCT system is accurately related to the radiation beam geometry. Uniformity is a measure of the CBT scanner ability to to produce an image, uh, an image is homogeneous ob uh, objects with the mean pixel values that don't depend on the pixel position. Uh, to evaluate the uniformity, uh, 
uh, we place five circular uh, region of interest in the phantom. Uh, it shouldn't be close to the edge of the phantom and the diameter of each of them uh, it should be 20 percent of the diameter of the phantom. So we have the iron method. We evaluate the axial uniformity using the five region of interest. First, we obtain the, the mean pixel value of each region. Then we take the average of the each value. Then we take the difference of each value and we select the maximum value. Finally, we could obtain the uniformity from the relationship, the average uh, of the contrast to noise ratio divided by the maximum uh, difference between the value of the region of interest. Voxel density value. Uh, it's described the uh, different X-ray attenuation properties of the matter uh, in an tomographic image. The more radio dense the material, the higher the voxel density values. It's important to be able to distinguish between the different density of the material in, tomog uh, in tomographic uh, image in order to perform uh, accurate uh, clinic diagnosis. So the radio, radio density value are defined using Hansel units. Hansel units related the to the linear attenuation coefficient of the material. By knowing the Hansel unit of the water and air, we can find the Hansel unit of the material of interest by the following formula. MUX is the linear attenuation of coefficient of the material of interest. And we have the linear attenuation of the water and air. Modulation transfer function is a measurement of microscopic uh, ability to transform contrast uh, from the spism to intermediate image plane at a specific resolution. It can be calculated from line spirit function. The Fourier transfer of the line spirit function computes the full uh, curve of the modulation transfer function. When we compute it and transfer it, we then get the value of the MTF. Contrast resolution refers to the ability to detect, to, uh, to detect uh, very subtle change in a grayscale and distinguish them from the noise in the, in the image. We have an objective option to assess the low contrast. It is to fix a certain signal and background and uh, measure the actual ratio between the signal and its background, which is the noise uh, contrast to noise ratio. So we do it. OK, we, find, we define two regions in the phantom. Uh, sorry. We take the average of the signal between uh, we take the contrast between the signal and its background and divide it by the, the noise in the background. We define two regions of the phantom, uh, one representing the background of the soft tissue, uh, soft tissue and one represents uh, the bone signal. High contrast resolution, uh, we can evaluate it by using modulation transfer function. Spatial resolution describes the level of detail it can be seen in the image. It's related to how, how small an object can be seen, and that is uh, the limiting spatial resolution. We have two methods to do it, subjective method with the observation of the spatial resolution phantom with, pair, with periodic pairs of high and low density materials representing different frequency. The high spatial resolution is assumed to be the limiting spatial resolution. A quantitative objective method by evaluation of the M M M M MTF value. The noise noise is corresponding to the fluctuation in the in the value of indi individual uh, pixel inside the region of interest in a homogeneous phantom. Okay, it can be measured as a standard deviation in, of the value uh, of the pixel value with region of interest taken in the center of uh, of a homogeneous six, uh, section in the phantom. 
we can be calculated by this formula. We take the standard deviation of region of interest by uh, divided by its mean. Signal to noise ratio is a measure, a measure of a true signal to the noise. A lower signal to noise ratio generally results in a grainy appearance in the image. Uh, in general, it's uh, integra uh, the sig uh, signal integrated over uh, the region of interest divided by the noise. Significant the verification of organ uh, motion and patient setup before and during the and after the course of radiotherapy. Uh, the the addition treatment is important to reduce the uncertainty of radiotherapy. Our aim around this will be to deliver a high dose to the tumor and minimize the dose to the healthy tissue. But some, however, sometimes the, uh, the imaging system may deliver dose than the prescribed dose. We must consider uh, an imaging system that produces high quality image with low doses. The most important is adaptive radiotherapy. During the course of radiotherapy, the patient may lose weight and the tumor actual size may change. Uh, so we need an imaging system that allows us to update the plan immediately before the treatment. We can see how the actual tumor size change after two weeks from the CTC, CT plan. The church of view, mirror evaluation of comb beam computed to tomography quality assurance program for Fear 4 d RT system. Uh, they measure the image quality parameter using the CAT fan for 504 CT phantom. Uh, they found in the image geometry the difference between the measure and the expected distance. It's almost small. And the system lower spatial resolution uh, uh, is lower than other system. The CBCT for Fear 4D system, uh, it cannot rotate 360 degrees that will result in losing uniformity for image acquisition. Bosonet, they proposed the quality assurance program for uh, Combine City. They used CAT Phantom uh, 504 and they used two fender uh, for the linear etc. Electa and Faran. Their results showed conversion uh, Conversion of the expected and measured distance of the four central mark of the cat phantom, it shows that there is uh, an excellent agreement. Uh, modulation transfer function, they determined for six electa and four faran. They found there is a superior for faran, uh, for faran for a spatial frequency ranging from two to five cycle per centimeter. And the results suggest that the spatial resolution of all CBCT CT system is sufficient to image the, uh, the bo uh, bony anatomy and object. Okay, the research map. I've done my proposal and research view. I'll be taking my measurement during the summer. Next semester, I'll be taking computer vision. Before the summer, maybe I will start thinking about the software using MATLAB. I'll be doing conversion of my program and other commercial program. And conversion of the CB, uh, CBCT and CT, hopefully write and publication. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, ask. Thanks for that time. Good. Good question. Yeah, thank you. Um, how do you know the phantom is from a genius? The phantom? Yeah. Okay, for cast fun, there is, uh, what is it, insert? Can you say it? Yes. There is insert empty. It's just for to calculate the homogeneity. Mm -hmm. Homogeneity. Yeah. So it's manufactured? Yeah, I Would think so. Yeah. yeah. Sorry? Is there a way you might be able to verify that it's homogeneous? Uh, I have to look into it. <laughs> yeah. Can you, um, can you describe the young phantom a little bit more? Sorry? Can you describe that phantom more? 
the phantom. Okay, the phantom have different layer. It can be tested uh, and has different density and has different uh, insert models to test various image parameters. So it's a cylindrical, can I go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which, because you had a great list of image quality parameters there. Um, yeah, so I will, I will show you too. We can, we, it's like this, we can see it's like this, it's just sexual. These are like circles for the parameter that inserts. So you want to have higher bow noise resolution? Because some, sometimes you need different, like in your list of parameters there, sometimes it's a compromise in the real world. Like if you want an image tissue or if you want a soft tissue or both, right? Yeah. Sometimes you want high noise, low noise, different contrast levels, yeah. etc. Are you going... Are you trying to optimize, or are you just going through the range, the image quality parameters? Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, just uh, I couldn't understand what you're saying. So, with your, can you just go back to your list of parameters you've got on the left there? Yeah. Okay. So you want high spatial resolution all the time? <coughs> no. What did I say? Spatial so resolution. When you say spatial resolution I mean, I meant high and low spatial you resolution. You want high and low. Yeah. And same with your noise. Oh, I'm trying to cover all the features of the image parameter, so. So just the high, the low of each. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Did we? There's a in publication. There's a recent publication happening just like the last year. They have done it. So your Astro has provided a recommendation about the CBCP quality assurance program. Uh, I would recommend have a look into it as well. Yeah, I'm fine. I will look into it. Yeah, they have provided the full set and they have provided the software with that as well. They have developed their own software to run the quality assurance program for the CBCP using the CAD panel. So if you, because doing it, so it, it would be a wonderful chance for you to have a look into it as well. So yeah. what they're using it and how they're doing it. Yeah, I'm not they, they, they give you the full description how they perform each step. And there's a publication, basically they ex extract one publication out of that as well. So if you are happy, I'm, I can share with you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Roger. Yeah. 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 Yeah.